I'm Josh. Welcome back to Skyrim. Last time, uh, we visited the Outer Ring of Riften. Uh, the episode before that, we visited the Inner Ring of Riften, mostly. Uh, right now, we're going to do the palace, and if luck precedes me, we're also going to look at the docks. Hmm. That's keep. Ooh. Ooh. Yourself, <laughs> the jail. Now, I'm going to start off here. Because apparently Sibby Blackbriar, the last member of the Blackbriar family, <laughs> led by the awesome, awesomely terrifying Maven Blackbriar, I will obey what she what she says. I'll. Uh, what are you doing down here? Um, I'm allowed to be here. See, look at the mask. I'm allowed to be here. Oh, my mistake. <laughs> Sorry, you can go on ahead. <laughs> I love it. I love this place. I love this town. <laughs> Someone with a smart mouth can get in anywhere. Mm -hmm. You have a nice cell. Have you come to gawk at me, or is this a social call? Both. Hi. Ah, finally. Someone besides the stupid guards to talk to. Are you in jail? Look, we all have our flaws. Mine is that women can't get enough of me. Oh, okay. So, I had this little affair going on while I was betrothed to a beautiful girl named Spitty. Really? Well, she finds out and she tells her brother, Wolfer, that her brother attacks me with a knife. I mean, I had to defend myself. Sure, I believe you. So, you got arrested for his murder. Exactly. Now I have to stare at these bars for eight months. Can you believe it? You know, he took a life. It's not nice. Mary into the richest family in Ripton, and this is how she repays me. Yeah. I'd do anything to have that whore's head on a platter. All I need to know is where she is. I might be willing to arrange something for a price. Ah, that's the spirit. Find her, and I promise you'll be well compensated. Sure. Um. Do you have any information about Speedy? She was a young woman, buxom, with long flowing black hair. Young black hair. She used to sing the most lovely songs to me when we were courting. Never heard a voice so, so she's beautiful. a bard. All that talent will go to waste when I'm finished with her. Yeah. So you're serving only eight months for murder? Well, you could have had it worse. Yeah, mother thought I should be taught a lesson for airing the family's dirty laundry in public. She might have a point there. I mean, I've taken care of many people for her in the past. What in oblivion did she expect me to do? Mm. Ah, well, at least I have all the comforts of home during my stay. Well, except the touch of a woman, of course. Yeah, I get that. I feel for you, dude. Hope you serve your pants well. I'm bullshitting. <laughs> um, tell me about your family. When speaking of the black only one thought should spring to mind. We are not to be trifled with. Hmm. Help us, you end up rich. Cross us, and you'll end up a memory. Is that enough information for you? Yeah, thanks. Uh, I was actually... I actually got here because Louis Latrush sent me. Ah, and let me guess. Yeah. He wants his horse. Mm -hmm. Well, that's going to be a bit of a problem. See, I don't really outright own Frost. Really? You're kidding me? You sold that horse and you didn't own it? What's going on? That is correct. You see, Frost belongs to the Blackbriar estate. Technically, everything in the estate is owned by my mother, Maven. I see. My plan was to take the horse from our lodge and deliver it to Latrush at the stables. Obviously, that didn't exactly work out as I'd planned. So you need another pair Still, of hands. Still, I don't want to cross you're saying. Latrush. Tell you what. Steal the horse and deliver it, and you can have the second half of the payment. I'm cool with that. But, uh, even though I've already talked to Maven, I'm sure Maven would be very interested to hear what you were up to and what you're still up to. Sure, take advantage Sorry, of Sorry, dude. Jail. You know how it is. You would do okay, the same. Okay, fine. I can make the deal, sweetie. I'm listening. I obviously don't have anything here, but there's a hidden stash in the lodge. And I did manage to hold on to the key. Okay, that sounds good. Take it. Okay, cool. I will get you that horse. Oh, I'll get Lewis the horse, and I'll get you the other half of the money. I'll, I'll at least do that for you. And I'll keep my eyes out for Speedy. I won't. 
Okay, anyone else in the cells here? Doesn't look to be. No, some chump here. Uh, Lou? Hello? That's no one. Interesting. Um. Right, so that's done with. I guess we go. Careful. Whoops. I guess we head uh, into the, um. Jarl's Palace. Hmm. I know exactly what I'm going to do in Riften. Uh, Speedy of Whereabouts. Map? Anything? Might ask a Bard's College. No, can't find it. Might ask the Bard's, might, might ask the Bard's College. Me, 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 me. Sorry. Is there anything going on around here? Sorry, sorry. Certainly didn't kill <clears throat> Rella. Just you know, certainly didn't do that. So you can cast a few spells. I used to be an adventurer yeah, yeah. like you. Right. Let's get into the ba the palace. Yarl's keep, Mistvale keep. Have our scouts come up with any information on these reports of dragons? Yes, my lady. That unpleasantness at Helgen supposedly involved a. Dragon. Did we have an appointment? Yes. No. It was a delivery? I want you to speak to the city guard. Make sure there's a contingency plan in effect in case Riften falls under attack. Mm -hmm. Yes, my lady. I've also taken the liberty in preparing a private carriage, just in case. Good. If Riften should fall, it's only right that its leader be spared. I don't like you. Welcome to Mistvale Keep. I'm Jarl Layla's steward, Anuriel. Hmm. Welcome to Riften, traveler. As Riften steward, I'm afraid I can provide only limited assistance, but speak your mind. What do you do around here? As steward, I serve as an intermediary between the Jarl and her subjects. I also handle the less important and day-to-day -day policies that affect daily life in Riften. Lately, I've had my hands full suppressing these ridiculous accusations of corruption in the Keep. Yeah, sure, ridiculous. What are the rumors of corruption you mentioned? There are those that believe the Jarl does nothing for this city. That it's corrupt and run by the Black Briar family. That's silly! I can assure you that this is entirely false. We are fully in control of everything. Yes, you are. You are fully in control of everything. That, I believe. You're welcome in Riften, as long as you continue to obey our laws. I'm not going to provoke her by talking about the, um... What can I do for you? Thieves Guild. Right. Speak. I wish to hear everything my subjects have to say. What's your sense on the war? While I feel Ulfric's cause is just, my concern is for the people of the Rift. Mm. How can they continue to lead their already meager lives with dark clouds looming overhead? My heart goes out to them. If only our coffers were deeper, I could protect them as they were my own family. So what do you think about Ulfric? With the Stormcloaks at his back, Ulfric's poised to rid Skyrim of the Empire's forces and invalidate our involvement with the White Gold Concordat. Many have died taking up arms for this cause. I fear that the land will be stained with blood for years to come. I see. So I know about the White Gold Concordat. And I'm not gonna bother about the Thieves Guild? Really? Maybe. We're all eager to see them brought to justice. Maven Blackbriar has assured me that they're being dealt with appropriately. Of course. As one of our city's most influential citizens, she's taken it upon herself to oversee their incarceration. <laughs> You're such an Sadly, idiot. they're proving elusive, but I have confidence that Maven won't give up until this city has been rid of them all. They've certainly been brought down some pegs, apparently. It's good to hear some things are being dealt with. What's the way we can court it? Surely you're aware of the great war between the Imperials and the Elves who called themselves the Eldmeri Dominion? Yes. When the smoke cleared, the White Gold Concordat was signed. It was supposedly a treaty aimed at establishing peace within the Empire. But? One of the terms of the treaty was the outlawing of yeah. worship to Talos. To the Stormcloaks, this was viewed as the moment when the Empire became unworthy of the allegiance of any true Nord. Thank you. Good journey to you. Good luck. And who are you? No, oh, come to gloat, have we? To poke fun at the Jarl's youngest son? My friend, I have no idea who you are and the politics you are involved with. Could you enlighten me from your point of view? 
Because I did something not a soul in this blood-stained house of war has the backbone to do. Dared to speak my mind. Really? I dared speak of the Empire and the lies that have been spread by Ulfric, the leader of the Stormcloaks. I've heard about that. Now my mother stripped me of my heritage and incarcerated me here like a common criminal. And my brother has all but disowned me. You're under house arrest? Be wary what you say around here, friend. You'll find not all take kindly to insurrection. Yeah, this is clearly not a democracy. What sort of lies has Ulfric been spreading? Ulfric only cares about one thing. Ulfric. I've heard that before. He's ordained himself the future High King of Skyrim and steps on anyone that gets in his way. Hmm. He's begun a rebellion against those that wish to eradicate the worship of Talos and uses it as his rallying cry. Yeah. His cause may be true, but the man is a lie. All he holds in his heart is lust for the throne. How could you possibly know that? Whatever. Mm-hmm. If you can see in men's hearts, well, you'd be recoiling from me. Right. Did we have an appointment? No. Great, another senile mage. I can't remember. Gelsomo must love you. Excuse my disorganization, but I'm in the middle of some delicate experiments. Why are you so preoccupied? Someone actually interested in what I'm doing. Amazing. Well, allow me to explain. Mm -hmm. My experimentation involves a magical construct and a reagent that will allow the construct to maintain a field of permanent harmonic energy. Okay. Do go on. Aha! So, you're a student of theoretical applied harmonics. I know a little about it. Putting aside Ralston's constant of universal inversion for a moment, how would you approach the problem? Draw the harmonic energy into the reagent, or allow it to generate its own field? I don't think a reagent, um... How about using calipers? I mean, like, tuning forks. Calipers? That's utterly ridiculous. Maybe long ago you could just find calipers in every household across Tamriel, but not anymore. <laughs> Hold on. You've given me a brilliant idea. Just as calipers hold materials in place, a soul siphon can hold magic fields in place. Genius! And I'm sure you've completely worked out how to counteract complete dimensional collapse, right? Well, if they are compressed too much, uh... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Nine. Nine defines. Nine. The harmonic needs to be ninefold. Arrow. Of course! Nine is the most basic of magical principles. Oh, how stupid of me. That completely takes care of all your basic problems. Magic a burn, dimensional collapse, and thermic drift. So you've, you've created a stable it. ritual. Now, if I can only remember what we were originally talking about. Yeah. You appeared to need some help getting organized. Yes, I could use some help with that. An assistant, perhaps? No, no, no. Maybe a familiar... No, 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 no. No, too messy. Well, at any rate, organization is not my strong suit. Not at all. I need as much help as I can get. I could help. In That's fact, what I do. I'm if a merc. you could retrieve a few things for me, I could start on my next set of experiments. Sure. What do you need me to get? As you can imagine, I tend to forget things often. Leave things around. I really must learn to put these things away. Yeah. What I need is my Dwemer Stirring Spoon, my Orichalcum Ingot, and my Grand Soul Gem. Fact, Another fetch quest. I'm gonna do all of them. Bring those items back to me, and I'll be happy to experiment on you. Um... No, no, that isn't right. I'd be happy to reward you. Cool. Point the way, and I'll get them. Excellent. I can't wait. Well, why are you still standing here? Oh, right. You need to know where they are. That would help. Yeah. Uh, where exactly am I going? Let's see. Last time I used the Dwemer spoon was at my dear friend Bodhi's house in Iverstead. Felstar Farm, I believe it's called. Another Iverstead quest! The There's like three of them. Should still be at Winterhold at the Winter Frozen Hearth Inn. Then. I don't know why I didn't just take it with me. I'll I go there often, and so that's cool. last is the Soul Gem. I left that one in Windhelm at the White File Alchemy Shop. It was a good trade, too. You want me to just grab it well, back? All right, fine. Okay. Now, where did I put those spiders? Dead spiders, I hope. 
Heaven and hell, woman. Okay, um... I know you. I can't trade Present. with you. Interesting. Oh! You were getting something for me. Did we I can't trade with you. Okay. No. Um, anyone else? Was it delivery? I can't remember. What can I do for you? Zip. Good journey to you. Mm. Welcome to Mistvale Keeps. No. Okay. I'm Yarl Layla's steward. I'm We're dragon to attack kind Where is... Why? As long as you can die there. No place safe. I saw a dude in elven armor. I want to know where he is. He's probably either upstairs or outside. God might get nervous. We're in the barracks, but I'm gonna check upstairs first. All right. Nothing much here. Yeah, this what is the way up. Your all's chambers. Oh, it's its own thing. Okay, yeah, that'll, that that makes it obvious why the search didn't work. And there's literally not a soul here. It's not all bad, of course. I can rob them blind, but I'm not interested in doing so because I have infinite money. So. Unless, of course, yeah, every y'all has one of these. Perfect. I'm still happy that I used this thing to kill the racist, child-abusing old woman. I mean, it wasn't, like, the most glorious kill of all, but uh, it was certainly gratifying to... Oh, hello! Speak. As Yar Layla's house guard, I would ask that you maintain a respectable distance from her at all times. Uh, tell me your thoughts on the war. Ulfric's a bloody hero. I don't think there's a worthy Nord alive who dare argue the point. Yeah, no worthy Nords. He's taking the Empire to task and making them answer for their crimes. Mm -hmm. I don't now, think I'll be content until Ulfric sits upon the throne of Skyrim with the ashes of the Concordat at his feet. That's a legitimate opinion. <clears throat> I take it you protect the Jarl? Indeed. There have been multiple attempts on the Jarl's life. We're not certain if it's the Dark Brotherhood or simply Imperial sympathizers. Or Maven Blackbriar. I mean, We've I said also nothing. had run-ins with spies attempting to probe our security for weaknesses. I work with the city guard to make certain they fail. Okay. At the end of the day, I'm the last line of defense for the Yar. I will not allow her to fall. Okay. Tell me about the thief. No, I already know about that. I'm keeping my eye on you. You need to leave. Fine, I'll get out of here. I suppose this is the end of the day. Yeah, it is. What's this? Well? Oh, someone's fighting. Whoa. Freaking vampires and a thief. Right. Traveler indeed. Vampire dust. Uh, that's what you get doing running around in the night. Gold, lockpicks, and a ruby. Steel arrow. All right. Um. Hello. Out of my way. The son of the Jarl has no time for idle conversation with. I enemies. saw you fighting. You only wielding a dagger. If you must know, I was practicing in the yard when the guard I was sparring with fainted when I specifically told him to duck. I see. My blade bit right into the stonework next to the keep. And needed serious repairs. Thankfully, our smith, Balamond, works wonders. Another fetch quest. In fact, if you'd fetch my blade from him, I'd be most appreciative. Sure. I'll get it for you. Thank you. Do hurry, please. Of course. You seem to dislike visitors in Riften? Every day, the threat of exile from Riften draws closer for myself and my family. Mm -hmm. Who knows how many spies the Empire has sent into our midst already? We're at war. Yes, it's the this Empire, the and not Maven. Hospitality. Dumbasses. Thank goodness mother is keeping a level head about everything. If my brother Sailand had his way, we'd be flying Imperial colors by Her? now. Yeah. I wouldn't quite agree with that myself, but uh, hey. You and your brother don't see eye to eye? Can you believe that fool had the audacity to speak of his love for the Empire in the plaza? He expects us to drop our defenses and greet them with open yeah, arms. If your royalties or with them nobility's family, you keep your mouth shut and blood. talk about that kind of stuff in private. He's a traitor, plain and simple. Yeah. Had I been sitting on the throne, he'd be hanging from the gallows for his sympathies toward the Empire. That's a bit much, but I can understand why he's in house arrest right now. It's not okay to just stick your own politics in where it doesn't belong. You're not the one ruling she is. Mm -hmm. I'm with you on that one. 
though perhaps not for exactly the same reasons. I'm probably going to wait till the next morning to talk to Balamund. Not even going to take, uh, take the sword back immediately because it'll be funny if I just do everything at once. Balamund. There we are. You've been a good friend to me. Come to see Balamund. I'm um, here to pick up Harold's sword. Eh? Lazy good for nothing, isn't he? Sent you down here when I'm a stone's throw from the keep. Hey, I'm not complaining. Here's the sword. Tell Harald to stop slaying walls, <laughs> and perhaps his blade will stay in better condition. Sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's cool. Remember. All right. Uh, deliver Harald's sword. I'll do that some I'm other time. Right now, I'm going to the docks. The forge knows the difference. Trolls. <sighs> they see me trolling. They hate him. Right. They say Onklok murdered the High King with his voice. Bah. Mm hmm They say that. Apparently that's somewhat inaccurate. You wanna talk? Finish those jobs for Brynjolf first. What are you looking at? Weird. Let's move faster. Is, is he rolling his eyes at me? Wild horse? Oh no, it's elk. Whatever. Who are I think you? You yes. the lexicon. Free me of my burden. Yes, lexicon. Yes, I know what you're talking about. The memories. I cannot stand them. You must take them away. Return them to a Monchenzel. Monchenzel. You must take the lexicon from me. Please. Give me. Give me. Take it. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Here you go. You must bring it to a Monchenzel in the West. Return it to them. It must go back. Very well. I will. Thank you. Unfathomable depths. Yeah. Uh, this quest will give me a 10% boost in XP to smithing. I could have left it behind. I could have put it back where it came. Don't worry, I'll fix it. I'll fix it for you. Anyone else around here? Yes, one dude here. Us. Are you someone I've already talked to? Ah, Valandor. Yeah, I've already talked to him, and I've already also Playing seen his house. Towering trees in Living with my mm -hmm. There's a bunch of people around here. Is it just a guard? Yes, it is. Take care with those babes. Sorry, sorry. I'll go look in the fisher fishery then. Oh, that's a meadery. Now, I want to go into Rift and Fishery, and then I can end the episode. And the next time we can go to Avanchens... Oh no, that's talking to Indari, and I don't care about that. Next time we can go to Invanchenzel, and then we can do all the fetch quests in the episode after that, I think. Heard about you and your words. Yeah, 97 speech, bitch. Sorry. <laughs> I'm very happy about hey, that. Watch it. Sorry, sorry. I'm very happy about that. Alright, um... Ooh, hello. Please help me. I'm going to lose my job at the Ripton Fishery. Do you like working here? Bully is a good man. He pays us well and watches out for us. Mm. I used to work at the Blackbriar Meadery, but Indarin and I never saw eye to eye. That elf has no patience at all. Mm. It's probably for the best anyway. I'm far better at fishing than working in a meadery. Right. So, you might lose your job, you say? My job at the Ripton Fishery is in danger. The owner, Bolly, said that if I show up for work in this condition one more time, then I'm out. Hmm. I don't mean to do this to myself, but I can't help it. I tried some skooma a year ago, and ever since then, I can't Hooked. stop. If you could give me a healing potion, I could cleanse this poison from my body and get back to my life. I'll see what I can do. Here you are. Your kindness will never be forgotten. Here, take this. It's all I can offer you for what you've given me. Oh, I'm old ring. Identify Rift and Skuma Dealer. Hello. Sure. Uh, I'll do that later. Ooh. 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 No, 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 no. Not gonna bother. I'm gonna be nice. Um, I need one more gem, actually, from... Um, I think that was the Stable Master guy. So let's stay out here and uh, do a Wuldna cast over here. 
Yeah. And I've also got a amulet of Talos I can use. Yeah. Hood! The guest! There we are. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Two people. I think. Too lazy to walk, eh? Well, you found the right place. Hey, Shutter. Any luck with Sapphire? You're not in debt with her anymore. I managed to convince her. Five. Eight. You actually talked her into it? Yep. I don't know what to say. I didn't think anyone in Riften even cared what happened to me. Look, I was saving this, but I wanted you to have it. I thought I might need it if Sapphire came for me, but I don't need it anymore. Mm hmm. Invisibility potion. You're, sl you're a clever man. <laughs> all right, you. They're all looking like horses that need shoeing, so make it rolling quick. their eyes, kind of looking at me, which is weird. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Apparel. Um. Been unknown. And illusion, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Horse Crusher. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna actually confront any of them. Someone do Fuck. It. Oops. <laughs> Load game. I'm not gonna confront any of them because that will probably provoke them and being mean. And I want everyone to love me. What can I say? I have my own interests. Hello, game. God's sake. I was literally invisible. Okay, I'm not the best pickpocket in the world, clearly. But still. A fight. Heaven and hell, man. There we are. What? Mm -hmm. Okay, now I can... Okay, good. Confront Hilga. I'll go do that some other time. Okay, the dragon seems to have, like, moved off. Yeah, seems to have left. I think the only thing we should do now is go to a Vongenzel in the west. First, the skooma dealer show me to Andarin. I'm not going to show me to Andarin. I'm just gonna do, at some point, I'm gonna do, uh, including the Ironverse Day quest, most of the quests for, um, this place. Currently, I'm gonna be wielding my, um, uh, where is it again? I'm gonna have Talos, my one handed ring, and my penultimate helmet, my one handed mace, my one handed mace. Heaven and Hell, man. There you go. Good. So that I can soul trap anything that gets in my way. East, south, what's this? I don't know, but uh, yeah, I'm going the right way, so that's good. These guys I talked to like a long time ago. Back when I was first around here. Ah, butterflies. Space, 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 butterfly. Yeah. Right. Let's head west. Now west! Ow, oh, well. Darn. I could kill the fox, but I don't think I'll be able to get close enough. Stand corrected. Darn it. Um. Incinerates. And I missed. Whatever. So be it. Not my priority anyway. Actually, can I just uh, uh, fast travel there? Not really. It's uh, like very far away from any anything and everything. Hmm. I think this place was once a silver hand stronghold. I think, yeah, that's why I was here. Well, it's not anymore. Huh, what's this? That's oh, Hunting Broom Eatery. It's pre reinforced. Oh, God. Dudes, I don't have a problem with you. Right now, anyway. Can we just move off? Yeah. Oh, there's another uh, orc stronghold nearby. I'm not going to visit it, though. I know my priorities. I'm about to end the episode as well, so there's that. Yeah, next time we can go to Advanced Zell. Oh, there's someone running here. What's this place? 
it's a mill with people. I don't know. Can I wait? Yeah, I can. Okay, good. The hell? Oh yeah, no cells I'm large enough. I forgot. Well, whatever. Black Star, let's try that again. Let's not try that again. Oh, let's try that again. Whatever. I could have I could have shouted them down, I guess. How about this garnet? Lock big vampire dust. Vampire dust. Where's Serana? Nothing wrong with some dead vamps, of course. That's more like it. Hardwood mill. Uh, detect life. Right? And Serana's all the way over there. Of course she is. Whatever. I'll check this place out. Sneaking. Here for work? Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. Don't I still have some wood to chop? Huh. If you see my good for nothing husband Leafnar on your journeys, tell him he's no longer welcome here. Okay. Is there any more difficult? Just myself and one child, it's damn near impossible. Understandable. With Leifnar gone, it's really put me in a terrible bind. I need to chop some wood for her. Meet. At this rate, we won't last more than a few more seasons at best. Then I'll just have to sell the old place. Hey, get out of here! What happened to Leifnar? He said he was going east towards the border of Morrowind to trade some of our grain to some folks at Broken Helm Hollow. Really? I waited and waited, and he never came back. Probably shacked up with some elven whore. Hey, Good there's kids nearby. Him, I say. If I only knew where he was, I'd sure He's give dead. him peace of my mind. He's dead, and he always loved you. Good. You if you see wait. him. Tell him Grosta said he can go straight to Oblivion. He's not welcome here you anymore. You'll be sorry. How did Leifner get to Broken Him? Why, do, why did he even go hey, there? Well, he said that a few men have been going by to some of the local farms, you promising a good price from all the local mills and farms. Leifner said they'd pay double you what you can usually get at the markets. Really? The catch was he had to head out there with our wood. So not only Are you sure he's not farm, dead? But a good bit of our surprise well. You're not in denial because you really hate him by now, but still. Remember to tell that bastard it's just me and my I mother never want to mill. see his ugly face again. I hope you're not here again. to start some trouble. I'll fight you if I have to. Yeah. You need to leave. Okay, I'll leave. This was dumb. My mother taught me the millwork trade. Oh, at least they have a guard stationed here. Find Leifnar. I think he's dead. Broken Elm Hollow. I've already cleared it you as know, well. Which trees to cut and which ones to pass up? Yeah, yeah. Right, so what else is there? Oh yeah, I need wood to chop for her, but I can do that some other time. Uh, do I even have a wood lumber axe around here? Don't think I do. Yeah, they do. But do they have an axe? Darn it. I'll try and remember to take some wood. Oh no, I could just, just do her quest. She'll like me even more. I suppose. Whatever. I'll try and keep it in mind. No guarantees, though. Uh, anyway, we're just about at Mazincha left, I guess. No, not Mazincha left. That's where uh, Lady lost her sword. Uh, damn it. Um, what is this place called? Hell! No, 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 no. Um, Candy bear. Holy shit. Okay, apparel. One handed necklace. Boom. Problem solved. Right. Okay. This was um, a Vonchenzel. That's it. Yeah. No antlers. Sad. Yep. This looks like the place. 
Thanks for watching. Uh, next time, Serana and me, wait, wait a moment, Serana and me <laughs> are going to check out Avanchenzel and get that last buff I need and want to um, so bright out here. maximize my uh, smithing again. Yeah, so thanks for watching. See you next time.